Capricorn, thanks for visiting. Uh, this is your reading for March the 4th to March the 10th. And as I always ask you, um, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if you would like to. You don't have to if you don't want to. I don't mind. Um, I'm just going to start your reading right now and get it out for you as quickly as I can. So the first card you have you passed is the Six of Pentacles. So yeah, obviously this card is about imbalance, unfairness, around money, other things as well. Um, you know, I'm actually seeing some strength around this though. I think, you know, I think you've probably been through some pretty imbalanced situations in your past around money um, and around love as well. Um, I think you've had a lot of takers in your past, people who have tried to take more than they were prepared to give to you. Um, and I think... I think you're able to put a lot of effort into making sure that people weren't taking advantage of you anymore around money. They used to, but then you really worked on that. Um, I'm actually seeing some people who would just expect you to do things, pay for things, help them out, do things for them, do them favours, all of that kind of thing uh, financially. Um, and, you know, this was hard work for you to get out of this, but you learned. You learned how to be politely assertive. And you learned how to get your way out of this without being rude, without being angry and all of that. So you did really, really well with that. Um, very well. But I think um, there were still some imbalanced situations for you around love. And I think it took you a lot longer to learn how to be, um, how to deal with these kinds of people in love. Um, I think you did do it. Uh, I don't think you're perfect, um, I've got to say that, um, but I'm actually seeing you really putting your foot down, especially around um, X, there's more than one X actually um, that I'm seeing, um, but you know, even now this might be something that you need to be mindful of, because yes, you're not perfect, that's what I was seeing, of course, nobody is anyway, but um, I think you still need to work at this, and sometimes, you know, it can be hard for you to find your balance around love. And I think, uh, you know, you probably still find yourself questioning whether different situations that you're in are fair or not. It's like you might think things like, oh, um, you know, uh, 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 excuse me, are they calling? Excuse me, I had to cough. <coughs> Sorry about that. Sorry, headphone people. So you might be uh, in situations where you think, oh, they've called me two times and I've called them three times, or they've, they've said this to me, they've uh, initiated things four times and I've done it 10 times or something. And you're kind of looking for that balance. You think, oh, you know, and you're stressing over these little things. So, um, and you might, you know, you might say to yourself, oh, oh gosh, I'm still not perfect. I still haven't, I still haven't got this under control yet. Don't stress about this thing, because what I'm seeing is about these kinds of things, because um, just the fact that you are mindful of these things is a step up from where you were. That's what I'm trying to say to you. I'm not saying it this very clearly, I know, but I'm trying my best. Um, yeah, I mean, there was a time when you wouldn't think about this. You'd automatically bend, you know, bend yourself forwards and backwards and sideways and upside down, not, um, yeah, not in the bedroom. Well, maybe, I don't know. But um, yeah, you used to do everything for these people and just let them kind of walk all over you, really. Um, sorry to say that, but that's what I am seeing. And even the fact that you're really thinking really carefully about this tells me that this is a step further than where you were. So don't stress about this because you are getting there. This is just a process and you are getting there in this process. So don't be too stressed about this. Um, the next card you have you passed is the Seven of Pentacles. So yeah, this is showing me a similar thing actually. Um, you know, if you look at the man on this card, he's looking at this big bush next to him and it's, it's, he's looking at all these coins that are all over this bush. And, um, you know, he, he only has one in front of him. So he's, he's really studying this bush though. So it's like in balance. There's one in front of him and they're all on the bush. He's really looking at this, these coins on this bush really, really, really carefully. He's looking really closely at it. So again, this is how you've been coping with making sure that everything's fair around relationships and there's proper give and take. It's like you've got a magnifying glass and you're really studying. Again, uh, how many times have I done this? How many times have they, did they done this? I'm seeing that again in this. Um, and 
I think you might even feel a bit silly sometimes. You might be saying to yourself, oh, I feel so silly, you know, counting how many times this and that. It's a really similar thing again I'm seeing in this. So, um, but don't feel silly again. Don't feel silly around this, I think, until this becomes second nature to you. Uh, and you don't need to think about this so much. You're going to have to keep on being really mindful of this. It's okay, you're okay. You're doing a good thing doing this. This is going to settle down eventually and you will eventually be in a place where you won't have to do this so much. But at this time, I think you do have to. I think you do have to keep on keeping yourself in check, if that makes sense. And it's like, you know, it's like you're training yourself. And if you think about it, you know, when parents train a small child to say please and thank you, um, they have to keep on telling them many, many, many times. Even when they're an older child, they have to keep on reminding them still. They have to say to them, you know, say thank you to the man in the shop, say thank you to the lady or whatever. Even when they're much older, because they forget. And so that's how you are. This is just a process. You're training yourself. You're going through this. And this really watching everything very carefully is just the stage where you're at right now, but you'll get out of that stage. So please don't be too hard on yourself. Try to relax with this a bit. So the last card you have your past is the Three of Wands. So yeah, I think someone might have been hoping and even waiting for you um, at this time. I think they might still be feeling this way about you. They might still be waiting for you. This is someone from your past. Um, yeah, okay. Um, I don't know if they've contacted you, but I'm getting the feeling that they might have. They might not have, but I'm getting that feeling that they might have. They might not have gotten the answer that they wanted from you. Um, now, they see you as a really special person. They did at this time. I think they still do. Um, they see you as golden, actually. There's gold all over this card. It's so beautiful. So, yeah, they were waiting. They were thinking about you. And uh, they were thinking about what their next move might be, actually, if you've given them a negative um, answer. Uh, they're very strategic as well. And that might be part of what the problem is around them. They're very, um, they're a bit calculating actually. They might even be a little bit manipulative as well. Um, I think they might actually have someone else around them, more than one person. Um, if you look at the man on this card, he's holding onto one of these wands and there are two other ones around him, obviously. And I'm just looking at the position of them and I think they might have one or two people waiting around them if that makes sense, kind of hanging around them in different positions, depending on what they feel like. So yeah, I think this answer that they got from you um, might have been negative. Again, I'm seeing that. Uh, I think um, they weren't very happy about that, obviously, because they thought you were an option along with these other people. But I can see why it was negative if that's how they were. Um, they have all these potential lovers kind of hanging around them. Um, but in their mind, I think they probably still see you as someone who they still have a chance with, along with all these other people, silly person. But, um, you know, this was, again, this was you putting your foot down and not taking any more of this unfair behaviour. So, if you're second-guessing yourself, if you're saying to yourself, oh, I'm still not getting anywhere with this love thing, I, I don't know, I can't get the balance right, I have to watch everything I do, it's really terrible, I'm not good enough yet, this is proof that you are. The fact that you're standing up to someone like this, um, I think there would, would have been a time that you would have said yes to them, or you would have been more positive with them, or you would have at least been all nice to them and whatever. But you weren't like that with this person. You could see it coming and you put your foot down. So this is showing me that you are getting somewhere. So again, be kind to yourself. That's what I'm seeing around this. So the first card you have for your present is the lovers. So there's more love here. So um, yeah, I think there might be someone around you anyway, a new person, uh, and they are very interested in you. Um, but this card can be a bit about, well, not a bit, it can be about choices. Um, I think you're probably interested in this person as well, a bit, but I'm not seeing any huge sparks here or anything like that. I know this card looks a bit like that. 
Um, and it can be like that. It can be about this angel blessing the couple and all of these things, but I'm not seeing that here. The man in this card is uh, looking over to this woman, but the woman's looking up toward this beautiful angel. So I don't think uh, this is a case of, um, I don't think this is a case of being this huge, amazing spark thing happening and this great big love of your life. They're more interested in you. Um, that's what I'm seeing. I also think you might be a little bit wary or even suspicious of any love that's around you at this time. And I can see why, because you've had all of this thing go on in your past. Plus, you've got this person in the Three of Wands who's trying to talk to you again. So I can see why you are like that. Now, I'm not saying that you'll never get together with this person in this card. Uh, you might at some time. But you have a lot, you know, I think it's going to take a lot before you ever think of anyone um, as a love connection for a while. I think you have a lot to get through first. Um, and you're busy as well, you have a lot on as well. You always um, have a lot on in your life. Um, and also, you know, the thing I'm seeing here is, I'm seeing this busyness and I'm seeing this person, and I'm seeing not much of a spark. When you truly fall for someone, you can always find time for them. And you might not be finding very much time for this person. So that's another indication to me that they might not be the one for you at this time anyway. Um, the other thing I'm seeing in this card is, you know, because I just saw that about you being busy and I think, you know, just be careful that you're not using your busyness and your work as a shield against any kind of love that might be around you. I've seen this in your readings before and uh, I don't think you do this as much as you used to, but I think you might be falling back on that again. You might not be, but I think this is something that you might want to just think about. Just be careful of not falling back into that again. Um, so the next card you have for your present is the Knight of Wands. So, yeah, you are concentrating on your work, as you usually are, uh, as always. Um, and I think you might... Um, you might have someone around you who's helping you um, with something work-related, I think. This is a really dynamic person. This is a really dynamic person and they have a lot to teach you. They have a lot to teach you, actually. They might be some kind of, or they might be in some kind of teaching role because I'm seeing a lot of people wanting to be around them, watching them, listening to them. If they are a teacher, I don't think they're a traditional kind of teacher, or at least they're not, um, they don't have a traditional style of teaching. Um, but I'm getting this message, message that, you know, you need to listen to them. You need to listen to them and you need to learn from them. And you might be tempted to think that you don't actually have a lot to learn from them, but you do. You have a lot to learn from this person, a lot. Now, there's mutual learning here as well. You're learning from each other, but this is telling me that you need to listen to them. This is telling me that you need to observe what they do and you have to watch what they do. That's what I'm seeing. So, uh, the last card you have for your present is the King of Pentacles. So, yeah, this is, um, you know, if what I was seeing in the Knight of Wands is, re is resonating with you, um, you know, again, stay around this person spend time with this person, listen to them, watch them. Um, I think they might have the Midas touch, actually, like this king. Um, if you don't know what that is, um, uh, if you don't know what that is, there's a story about King Midas and everything he touched turned to gold. So there's a lot of abundance around this person. They work hard, they really do work hard, but it's not about that, it's more about the way they do things. Now, I'm not saying that you should follow what they do exactly. I think you're a completely different kind of person. Um, and I'm not saying you should copy them either. That's not what I'm saying at all, of course. But be inspired by them. Be inspired by some things that they do. Um, I really hope this is resonating with you because I think this person's going to bring you a lot of new opportunities as well in your future. And they're just a good person to be around. And they're a good person to watch. I keep on seeing that again, so I'll say it again. Watch and learn from this person. That's what I'm seeing. So the first card you have for your future is the Page of Wands. Um, so yeah, the pages can be about messages sometimes. 
Um, I think there might be a message coming to you actually about something around um, around traveling maybe or moving. Um, not permanently. I don't think you're moving permanently, but this is some kind of this is some kind of opportunity around traveling. Um, I'm just seeing someone confirming this opportunity for you. It's like they're saying, that's confirmed, this is going ahead, that's what I'm seeing. Um, I think there might be a bit of nervousness around this and a bit of unsurety around this as well. Uh, you might be wondering if you'll be able to take this on or not. Um, because this page is looking up to the top of this wand and you know, pages can be students as well and they're eager to do things but they can be a bit unsure of how they're going to do these things. So that might be how you're feeling or going to be feeling around this opportunity. But whatever this is, um, this is a really good opportunity, I think. Now, it might not be a huge money-making opportunity. Um, that's what I'm seeing. But um, experience-wise, I think this is going to be really good for you. And I think it might open up a whole new area of expertise or things for you or more opportunities. It's something like that. It's going to open up new things for you. So definitely go for this. If this comes up for you, go for this opportunity. I think you're going to be a lot busier when you do this, but you don't mind being busy. I know that. I always see that in your readings. You love being busy. The next card you have for your future is the world. So again, Look at this, say yes to this opportunity. If this comes up for you, say yes. Don't start thinking things like, oh, I won't make that much money around this, or oh, I don't know about this. Don't think that, because even though you might not make that much money this time, I keep on seeing the experience in this will be really, really good. It's going to be invaluable, and it's going to bring more abundance for you in the future. So it's going to be a little bit like an investment. Do this now, put the work in, experience things, and the money will come in later on, over time. So don't think, oh, you know, I won't do this at this time, it's not going to be that much money. Don't do that, because this is going to be a fantastic, fantastic opportunity for you. And it's going to up, open up a whole new world of things for you. Now, I'm seeing something quite special in this as well. Um, I don't know if this may or may not resonate. This is a very specific thing that I'm seeing in this. I think you might have been thinking about um, and wanting uh, a new opportunity like this or an opportunity like this for a long, long, long time. Now, this isn't exactly the way that you're imagining this. You're wanting to manifest this for a long time. A long time ago, you said to yourself, I want to manifest this. Now, you might not recognize this as that manifestation because it's going to look a bit different to you, but this is it. This is it. This is what I'm seeing. This is something very big. Now, this is it. This is what you've been manifesting. I keep on seeing that. Now, um, yeah, you've wanted this for a long time. I think you might have spoken to someone years ago even, um, I think about this thing. And I think this is someone older than you. They might have been a mentor. They might have been someone who helped you. They might have told you or they might have indicated to you that this is something that you should do. This is this thing. So if you don't remember this, think back over who you've spoken to, who might be a bit older, who you looked up to, who you told about this years ago and you might remember it. You might not remember it straight away after this reading. It might take you some time to remember it if this is resonating with you. Now, this is it. This is this big manifestation. It's the beginning of it. Um, I know uh, that probably sounds a bit strange, but uh, this is what I saw and I had to say that. I'm just, I'm kind of slowing down my words because I'm really seeing all these things. I'm really seeing someone talking to you in your past, um, saying, yes, do this or something like that, or indicating in some way that you should do this. Um, so yes, again, do this thing. When you see this opportunity come up, do this thing. I won't say that again, I promise I won't. <laughs> so the last card you have for your future is the Five of Cups. So yeah, I think this person in the Three of Wands might 
finally realize that you're just not going to put up with anyone who deals with all these different people dancing around them at the same time, like musical people, uh, like musical chairs, but it's musical people. Um, and uh, I'm seeing they do have regrets. I mean, look at this man, look at him. He's so regretful. I'll just move that up so you can see. So he's so regretful. And also look at what he's looking at. He's looking at these cups and they're golden. So this person still sees you as this golden opportunity that they missed out on, but they still haven't changed their way, their ways. They still see you as one of a lot of different people. That's what I'm seeing. But, you know, there's a bridge on this card as well. So they're thinking, oh, I might still have that option opened. I still might try again. So they're going to keep on trying again at some time in the future. So just be aware of this. Just be ready for them to contact you again. They see you as an opportunity, but they also see all these other people as an opportunity again. So yes, you're not going to be interested in this person. You're still going to put your foot down again if they do contact you again. I'm seeing that. And yeah, you've been through so much in love and you just don't want to go through any of that again. That's what I'm seeing. Now, I'm going to go back to the world card again, even though it's hidden. I'm going to put it like that. Look at that. This is your opportunity. If someone comes to you and says, do this thing that has something to do with having to travel to something, say yes to this. This is something you wanted to manifest years ago. Here's a car coming past to tell you this is a noise. People say to me, oh, don't worry about the noises. They're kind of telling you that this is something you have to watch. So here we are. Go back to a time when you wanted to manifest something, think about it, it was years ago. This is that opportunity that you wanted to manifest years ago. Now, I know that will only resonate with a few people, but I felt that I had to keep on telling you that because this is a big thing. So Capricorn, I hope this resonated, I really, really do. Um, but as you know, general readings can't always resonate with everyone. But again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if you would like to. And yes, thank you so much for watching.